pre-travel day. Where are we going, Susan? Lanzarote. Where are we flying from? Birmingham. Tomorrow morning. What time's the flight? Uh, half six. Half six in the morning, so it'll be a nice early start. So hello and welcome to another vlog. So we're heading to Lanzarote. Nice little family holiday. It's the, uh, it's the day before we fly, so we're going to head down to the airport because we've got a nice early flight in the morning. Kids are excited. Okay. Excited, guys? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to Lanzarote. I'm going to go on the trampoline. Are you? Okay, he's going on the trampoline. You excited, Jesse? Yeah! Yeah, going on an aeroplane? Yeah! Yeah, oh, we don't want to see that. Ooh, <laughs> finish your food! So, yeah, we're going to have a leisurely stroll to the airport. We're staying at the Novotel Birmingham Airport Hotel. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to stop off on the way because I only have about one pair of shorts. <laughs> so... <laughs> Which is ridiculous. It is a bit. So, we're going to stop off. Um, I don't know, we'll find an Asda or a Matalan or something. Go get some cheap shorts for me because I'm unorganised and yeah, I haven't got any shorts. So yeah, I've only got the ones that I'm wearing right now. So we need to go get some more. But it's fine, we've got plenty of time. It's only like midday at the minute, so loads of time. We're here, we've made it. Let me just show you. Let me just show you, show you, show you, show you. Over there. It says, Birmingham Airport. There it is. We're in car park one. Nice walkway. We're here. Yeah. That was quite possibly the hottest car ride. She's here. Yeah. Calm down. We're here. You're mad. You're hot you and mad. mad. <laughs> she's angry because she's hot. That was a very hot ride. Traffic was awful, but we're here. And I managed to get one pair of shorts. Literally went to Matalan and Asda. Hardly any shorts. What is going on? It's summer and they have no shorts. So we're in the room. The Novotel. Yes, is it Novotel? No Novotel. Shortly. And we got a card so we can turn the lights on. Yeah. Oh, let's put a card in. Let's have a quick tour. So we got Whoa. the toilet here, which you first come in. Oh, let me fit the camera. So, Callum's gone in the toilet. Full length mirror. Very cool. Bathroom. It's like a squished bath. Still, it's, it's a nice bit of uh, mould in the corner. That's pleasant. Rainfall shower and a uh, handheld. It's a pretty funky sink. A mirror. Yeah. This is very modern. So they say they're going to be bringing a sofa bed up. Yeah. Susan. What? Yeah. Where are the battery jacks? I don't know. Very swanky. What's the view like? What's the view like? Where's I can't open the curtains. What we got? We got. Oh, we got. We can see the planes taking off. We got an airport view. Very cool. Yeah, this is nice. Nice hotel room. Very modern and swish. Yeah, what is this? And it, and it's, it's, it's a light. It's, oh. it's not what is it? What? Oh. No, this is it's done enough. How do you? Oh, how do you? If I just have a blanket, I can get. Oh, it's the, to the, sleep. Turn it on and off to make it brighter. It's a very funky if light. I that is. Blanket, I can get the nice big telly. And also, yeah. Very, no, I don't think there is. Enough room for all four of us. Huh? Our rooms Who is it, Jesse? Yeah, no. Our room. You want to speak to me? Yeah. Tell him I'm not here. But he wants to speak to Callum. 
Hello. Susan's wrecking the place already. Well, well, um, all that I need is a, is a blanket and I'm off. That's it, you're sleeping there. That's it, good night. So we've just checked in our bags the night before, which is amazing. I think it's like from four till... Hello. Hi. Yeah, from four, four in the afternoon until like nine o'clock or something, you can check your bags in the night before you're meant to fly, which is amazing. Like good idea. Saves us having to do it in the morning so we can just come in, go through security and we're there. We're done. We don't need to check in. Don't need to check any bags in. Brilliant idea. Fantastic. I don't know if that's just a Jet 2 thing. I think you can do it with Virgin as well. But yeah, it's fantastic. Good morning. So it is travel day today and I've just been and dropped out overnight stuff in the car because um, we checked our bags in last night, which was fantastic. So the Novotel Hotel, it was nice. We went there for food last night, um, had a few drinks, it was pleasant. Um, however, basically there's like a sofa in your room that turns into a sofa bed. And they were meant to do this when we checked in and they didn't. So we got back to the room at like, you know, eight, nine o'clock ready to go to bed and there was no bed set up for the kids. So we had to go and tell reception twice to uh, sort the bed out because the kids want to go to bed. And then um, when the maids come to do the bed, there was one lady who, they gave us one pillow and was like, we've got two kids, we need two pillows. And she just like took it out and we was like, whoa, don't do that. So, uh, yeah, we had to get our Karens on a little bit, but there's just no need for that. Two, okay. that. Yeah, it's a nice hotel. I'd recommend it. It was pleasant. Beds were fairly comfy. Showers, yeah. Showers, okay. So now we're going to head into the terminal, go through security, because we've already dropped our bags off, which is amazing. And then we're going to go get some breakfast. Get ready to get on the plane at half six. It's currently now like quarter to four in the morning, I think. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad getting up this time. I feel like I've had a good amount of sleep. So it should be okay for the day. But yeah, it's uh seems like a fairly nice airport so far. It's not overly massive, so you know, hopefully it's not too busy, although Cars are starting to pile up, people are starting to pile up. So it could potentially be quite busy, but hopefully it's not too bad. Try not to get run over. So yeah, I'll uh, check back with you guys when we're in the terminal. Could be our plane, there's a Jet 2 one over there. Got Fly B1, two E's, KLM's. Security was uh, was busy, to be honest. And departures has also been very busy. But uh, yeah, we're now heading down to the gate. It's not busy as the vast airport went to the... No, Stan said. I don't know, I don't know. Probably on par. But yeah, we're going to make our way down to the gate and uh, hopefully get on the plane shortly. Hello,
Did you go in? We made it to Lanzarote. Sponsored by Lidl. Mommy. We're here. We made it. Passport control was a bit long. Let's go. But we're here. Let's go. So let's go get the bus. So here is the room tour. Room 336. Let's go and have a look. Okay. So we've got a full length mirror. Smells clean. Smells like bleach. Nice little bathroom area with some hand wash, body wash. Body, no, body milk that is. Hair dryer, little mirror, shower, bath. It's okay. Towels, shower gel, shampoo, and conditioner. Yeah. Little B day. Let's go through. So here we've got a little seating area. I take it that's the two, the two beds for the kids. And then you've got the main bedroom. It's a very wide bed. TV in here. Little... Oh, we've got... We've got two balconies. So we've got a balcony here. And we've got a balcony over here, another TV on the wall. Another balcony. Let's have a. If we can open the. How do we open it like that? No, that's locked it. You have to push the button. I can't open that. Why can't I open that? That's oh, because it's locked. There we go. It's the balcony. Got our own little pride. We've got two balconies. Got that one and this one. Nice views of the pool and the sea. It's a pretty good view. Table, little drying rack over there. Some nice imagery on the wall. Telephone. What we got behind here? That's storage. Some pillows from the sofa and a little kitchenette very little kitchenette so microwave it's got a couple of cups and saucers and some glasses and then a bin under the sink and a fridge it's empty little coffee maker kettle that's the adjoining room door So this is, this is the room. Yeah. It's all right. Plug sockets either side of the bed. Little lights. What's in here? Just another storage thing, I'm assuming. Safe. Which I think you have to pay extra for. And a wardrobe. Yeah. Nice. Seems fairly fresh. Definitely clean. But yeah, this is the room tour for the H10 resort in Lanzarote. We've got aircon as well. Let's turn that bad boy on. Set on 10 degrees. Ooh, that'd be cool. 50, uh, 25 in here in a minute. So yeah, that is the room tour. I think all the rooms are pretty much the same, to be honest. It'll do the job. Yeah, I recommend. So travel day, what can I say? Um, it's been a few days now we've been here, but I wanted to just summarize the whole thing. It was a really good day. It was, you know, everything went as smooth as it could. Birmingham Airport is fantastic. I recommend it. Um, departures, food was, it was busy, it was hard to come by, it was hard to get a table. We did get a table in the end. Uh, we just got some croissants and, you know, all them sort of easy bites to eat. 
had a drink and that there. Um, we flew with Jet2, it was fantastic. Cannot recommend Jet2 enough for a budget airline, it's brilliant. Um, we was on like a brand new plane, so the seats were really good. We had loads of leg room. Um, the staff were amazing. Big shout out to the staff. Um, on the plane, so there was, they sell the raffle tickets on the plane. Um, and what they did was they got my little girl Jessica and my niece um, Edith. Um, they got them up um, and got them to hand out all the raffle tickets, which I thought was a very clever um, sales tactic because they managed to sell all the tickets and they didn't even get through the whole plane. So that was really good. That was good for the kids. They enjoyed it. They got dressed up in their little uniforms and walked down the plane and sold the tickets. So that was really good. Um, and then at the end of the flight, they let the kids go into the cockpit and sit in the captain's chair, which was amazing. Um, Callum absolutely loved it. Um, the girls won't go in there, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, Callum loved it. He loved sitting in the seat and he showed him all the buttons and the controls and yeah, it was just it was just a good experience. Um, immigration into Lanzarote was slow, as you'd expect. They separate the families from the people without kids. Um, and the queue went went fairly slow, but the bags were right waiting for us when we got through, so that was good. Um, transfer on the coach took probably 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. It wasn't all long. Um, and we was one of the last hotels to be dropped off as well. But yeah, it's been a, it was a good day. It was a, it was as stress-free as you could make it. So that's the main thing, I recommend it. I recommend flying Jet 2, I recommend flying from Birmingham. It's the first time I've flown from Birmingham. Um, I prefer it to Luton. It's not quite Stansted, but it's good, it's good. So yeah, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys.